my dear students my dear students of class 10 durga purishpad vidyalay we know more about light refraction and refraction right <clears throat> you see that deviation produced due to refraction by a total reflecting prism here we take the prism in such a way that it is a right angle right angle right angle Anxious Celis Prism. Right? This is 45 degree angle, and this is 90 degree, and this is the 45 degree also. This is 90 degree. Now, a light ray, we take at first a light ray, a light ray incident on the Face AB of the principal section of the prism, it is the right angled, right angled isosceles prism. The incident ray is this PQ. Since it is incident on the face AB. PQ incident no, perpendicularly, hence it is without any refraction, that is, it is without any deviation passes through the AB. And then, if we draw a normal in this case, the angle of incidence will be this, it will be 45 degree, obviously. Hence, after Total internal reflection occurs. This is also 45 degree. Total internal reflection occurs at the point R. Right? Why total internal reflection occurs at the point R? Because here the angle of incidence is 45 degree, which is greater than the critical angle of the material of the prism, which is 45 2 degree. Right? Hence, total internal reflex, reflection occurs at the point R and the ray Rs is incident perpendicular to the, or normally to the, perpendicularly or normally to the surface BC. Hence, it is also without deviation goes through ST. Right? Now, if we take another ray of light parallel to PQ, this is parallel to PQ, incident normally on AB, Q, B, hence it is without deviation, goes through this, right? W same phenomenon occurs here. X Y. Right? Here deviation occurs, total deviation occurs 90 degree. That is the incident part, then 90 degree after reflection to the isosceles prism. This is 45 degree which is greater, angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle for the material of the prism that is 42 degree, right? And obviously here, in this case, the light ray 
tends to pass from denser medium to rarer medium and its angle of incidence is 45 degree so total internal reflection occurs at r and w remember it here deviation of incident ray of incident ray is 90 degree right this and this becomes 90 degree now we we'll see what will be the deviation occurs 180 degree in which case right here we take another right angle isosceles prism in which the light ray parallel light rays are incident on the hypotenuse here AC right this is the hypotenuse hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse right now we see this is hypotenuse right this is hypotenuse of a right angle isosceles prism this is 90 degree hence this will be the hypotenuse a b c a light ray falls normally in this way p q in this case also deviation occurs 180 degree mm, by the process of reflection here right it will be the part here it is 45 degree obviously here it is air air and it is glass glass prism here also it is air glass yeah right we take another ray P Q R S here 45 degree 45 degree here if we draw perpendicular in this line this is 45 degree and this is also 45 degree we take another ray parallel to the P Q R S right here we also write P Q R S in this way S T P Q R S here if we take the well, uh, now name here then we get it otherwise now we take another ray right it is also These two rays becomes parallel to each other. You name in this type P Q R S T U V may be right. Here also you write the names. Right. In this way, deviation occurs. Deviation occurs 180 degree. Right. Remember this and name yeah, them. Right. Now we know about lens and reflection through lens. What is a lens? Draw this graph in your exercise book. Draw this figure carefully. Now, we see 
the lens. What is a lens? A lens, here we only discuss the spherical lens, right? A lens is a reflecting medium bounded by two spherical surfaces or one spherical and one plane surfaces. Remember it. This is called lens. Lens are of two types. One, convex. Number two, number two, concave. Lens are of two types. Convex, convex and concave. Right? Concave, convex. Convex lens. What do we mean convex lens? A lens whose middle part is thick than its two ends. In the concave lens, the middle part is thin in comparison with the with its two ends. Right? Hence, convex lens are of three types. Convex lens are of three types. Biconvex or double convex? Biconvex. Biconvex or double convex. Or double convex. Plano convex. Plano convex. And concavo, concavo, convex, or convex meniscus also called convex. Here, this is a double convex or biconvex lens. This is a plano convex lens, and this is a concavo convex lens. Concave, con, con, concave, concave, convex lens, right? Now, we write, it is also are of three types, concave lens are also of three types, right? Biconcave or lens, obviously lens, or double concave, double concave, Lens, right? We do, uh, uh, do not write here lens, but all we added lens after the end of it. Plano concave, and another is convexo concave, convexo concave. Convex to concave or concave meniscus. Right? This is the by bi concave or double concave. Plano concave, this is the plano concave. And convexo concave, that is. This is a concave or convex, right? Note down in your exercise book. Now, we know some terms about lens, both concave and convex lens, right? At first we know the centers of curvature. We know a lens, any lens, convex or convex, spherical lens, has two spherical surfaces, right? This is a. If we complete it, right? 
side if we complete in the side right here let us consider the surface of the lens AB in this side that is which is the part of this sphere is P1 right P1 this is P1 and this is P2 right we define the center of curvature here 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 c1 c2 right the center of each sphere of which one surface of the lens is a part is called center of curvature of that surface. Similarly, here yes, center of curvature are of number two. Right? The centers of curvature of a spherical lens is the centers of the spheres of its surfaces, two surfaces, of which they are part of those spheres. Right? Hence, in this case, C1 and C2, C1 is for the, this is right in the P1, this C1, P2, C2. For the surface P1, the center of curvature will be C1, and for the surface P2 of the lens, its center of curvature will be C2. And similarly, we give it or show it by a concave lens. There are also two parts, two, it is a part of two spheres also, two surfaces, two spheres, right? One surface is that, another surface is that. That is P1, P2, if we take this in this way, then this surface P2, hence it is the C2 and this surface for this P1 surface it is C1, the center of curvature. Now, this is the center of curvatures. Hence we have convex or concave lens. <laughs> Since these lenses have two surfaces each, hence there are two centers of curvature because these surfaces has a, is a part of two spheres whose centers are the centers of curvature. Right. Now, we know about principal axis. If the centers of curvature of a lens is joined by a straight line and it is extended on both sides, then it will be the principal axis. That is x x dust is principal axis. Yeah, x x dust is principal axis. Principal axis. Right? And these are the centers of curvature. Centers of this and this. Centers of curvature. Right? Remember it. Here, this is the principal axis. X, X prime. C1, C2 with the principal axis. Right? And X, X test with the X, X prime with the principal axis. C1, C2 center of curvature and X, X prime with the Principal axis. Now we know about first 
first principal focus and then second principal focus. First principal focus, right? We take a convex lens here. Here we also define the optical center of a lens. For a thin lens, that is, uh, aperture is very small, angular aperture less than 4 degree. Then this, in this case, the center of curvature will be a point within the lens on the principal axis, through which light rays passes without any deviation, that is undeviated. This is principal axis. Right? In this case, this is C1, this is C2, or this is for C1, for this surface, P1, and this is center of for the surface, P2. Right? If the, we define the center of um, optical center of a lens, for a convex lens, for a small aperture of it, a convex lens is a point on the principal axis through which it light ray passes that is reflected. It is undeviatedly emerges out from the lens. Right? That is, in this case, this. Another. For a convex concave lens, this is P1, P2, this is C2, this is C1 center of curvatures. Here, for the we we'll show it a light ray in this case, this is the Light rays P, Q, R, S. Here, this ray PQ passes through the point O within the lens on the principal axis. If O be the optical center, then it is reflected and then emerges out from the lens without any deviation. Right. In this case also, this will be the case right in this way deviated. But if the aperture is not small, then what is the definition of the optical center? Right, we see it. We draw at first the two radii that is this is this is right this is one R one and also in this case C two that is This is R2. Since for this surface, C1 is the center of curvature, that is center of the sphere of which the case AB, that is reflecting surface AB, is a part. Similarly, R2 is this. Now, if a light ray incident on the on the P, Q, R, S. If a light ray is incident on one face, one surface of a concave lens, then after reflection, 
if it is parallel to the incident ray the emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray then the refracted ray within the lens cuts the principal axis at a point at a fixed point o which is called the optical center of the here for convex lens and similarly in the case of convex lens we have if a light ray here also right similarly if the incident ray and the refracted ray Imagine ray that is PQ and RS are parallel to each other. Then the refracted ray within the lens, your concave lens, cuts or meet or intersect the principal axis at a fixed point, which is called the optical center of the concave lens. Right. Now we define. First principal focus for a convex lens and for a concave lens also. First principal focus. First principal focus. Right. We consider a convex lens at first. Here also we draw for a concave lens also. This is the lens. This is the principal axis. Right. This is the optical center already discussed. This is the optical center. This surface is P1. And here is the center of curvature will be C1 here. And this surface is P2. Maybe. And each center of curvature will be C2. In this case, this surface is taken as P1. Right? Hence, each center of curvature will be C1. And this surface is P2. Hence, each center of curvature will be the C2. If a parallel beam of light ray is incident, no, if a light ray from a fixed point on, on the principal axis emerges out that is starting from a point, let this point name F, from a point, we draw some rays, right? Then, after reflection, they become parallel to each other. They become parallel to each other. Then this point, that is the point on the principal axis from which a divergent beam of light rays, that is light rays, start. And after reflection, the reflector they becomes parallel to each other. Then this point is called first principal focus. We write it as F1. First principal focus. Right? Here, yeah. if it is a point, the principal, first principal focus is a point on the principal axis, so that if a light rays Converges in absence of the concave lens, that is, it is directed, it is directed towards the point 
on the principal axis towards the point uh, at the principal axis after reflection they becomes parallel to each other to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis right then this point f1 is called the first principal focus first principal focus for a concave lens remember here see that the first principal focus in the case of convex lens is on the front left hand side and in this case the first principal focus is on the right hand side right now second principal focus or simply we call it focus only focus second principal focus or simply called simply called second principal focus or simply called focus of lens of a lens okay, let us consider a convex lens and another a concave lens right its optical center here this is the principal axis and here optical center this this is the principal axis right now for a convex lens if a parallel beam of light rays incident parallel to the principal axis right incident parallel to the principal axis this is the parallel rays we draw only two rays you may draw various rays parallel to each other with the principal axis right then after refraction they passes at a point they passes at a point on the principal axis this point of emergent ray is called the second principal focus or simply focus of the lens in this case also right they appear to they appear to diverge from a point it is not clear right figure will be the in this way then the refracted ray becomes in this direction right that is if they are produced backwards then they meet at this point this is the second principal focus that is if light rays parallel to the principal axis are incident on a concave lens then after refraction they appear to diverge from a point on the principal axis this point is called second principal focus or simply focus of the lens for a concave lens right now the distance between the optical center and the first principal focus is called first focal length first principal focal length and for the case of second principal focus or simply focus the focal length will be the distance between the optical center to the second principal focus remember it focal plane what will be the focal plane focal plane is an imaginary plane perpendicular to the principal axis and which passes through the focus either first principal focus or second principal focus obviously there are two 
फोकल प्लेन सेकेंड प्रिंसिपल फोकल प्लेन फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल फोकल प्लेन इन दिस टू केसेस राइट नाउ वी हैव ए सेकेंडरी फोकस आल्सो सेकेंडरी प्रिंसिपल फोकस और सेकेंडरी हियर वी गेट व्हाट सेकेंडरी फोकस इफ लाइट रेज इंसिडेंट ऑब्वियसली पैरल पैरल लाइट रेज इंसिडेंट ऑन द सरफेस रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस ऑफ ए लेंस देन इफ दीज आर नॉट पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस दे मीट एट ए पॉइंट ऑन द फोकल प्लेन दिस पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी फोकस एम एंड दिस फोकस ऑब्वियसली इज नॉट ए यूनिक वन इट इज वेरी बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द ऑब्लिसिटी ऑब्लिक्यूटी दैट इज हाउ द एंगल मेड विद द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस ऑफ द इंसिडेंट रेज दैट इज इंसिडेंट रेज फॉल्स ऑब्लिकली दे फॉल एट एनी एंगल्स विद द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस एंड दिज एंगल फॉर द सेकेंड सेकेंडरी फोकस डिपेंड्स अपॉन दिज एंगल्स राइट हेन्स इट इज नॉट ए सिंगल पॉइंट इट इज ए वेरिएबल पॉइंट इट इज नॉट ए यूनिक पॉइंट राइट ना एपार्चर एपार्चर ऑफ ए कॉन्केव और कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज फॉर दिस सरफेस विल बी दिस एंगल एंड इफ दिस एंगल दर इज द टू एंड वी जॉइन द सेंटर देन दिस एंगल विल बी द एंगल एंगल ऑफ कार्बेचर इट इज इज ऑल्सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द कार्बेचर बट लीनियर कार्बेचर राइट नाउ विड्रॉ सम figures after reflection after reflection of light rays to a prism for different positions the image is formed for different positions of the for different positions of the object it is shown in the next class right okay thank you